Okay, Assalamualaikum and hi everyone. Today we're going to continue of our lesson. So, let's look at subtopic 3.5 Blood Circulatory System in Animals and Transport System in Plants. Okay, you can look at your textbook page 113. In this topic, you're going, uh, we're just going to look at the differences between or the comparison between the blood circulatory system in animals and also the transport system in plants. Okay. Before this, we already learned about the transport system in animals and as we call as the blood circulatory system in animals and also the transport system in plants. Okay. Um, so from this study, we have we have aware of the uniqueness of circulatory system to the continuity of life of organisms created by the court. Okay, and then now we can look at the similarities and differences between the blood circulatory system in animals and the transport system in plants. Okay, now look at the similarities between these two types of processes. Okay, both are transport systems. And both transport water, nutrients, and dissolved substances. Same. Okay. And then both exist in complex organism. Okay, this is just similarities. Okay, now look at the differences. Okay. In the differences, we can look at the um, uh, structure, the type of transport vessels, and also the connection between transport vessels. On the blood circulatory system in plants, the tubular system has with heart and valves. While in the transport system in plants, you can see the system of vessels without pump or valve. Okay, and then uh, in blood circulatory system, pump means the heart lah. Okay, and then for type of transport vessels. Okay, there are three types of vessel in blood circulatory system in plant in, in animals, sorry, in animals. So there are artery, capillary, and also vein. While in transport system in plants, there are two types of vessels. There are xylem and also phloem. And then for connection between transport vessels, Artery, capillaries, and veins are connected to form one continuous vessel in blood circulatory system in animals, while in transport system in plants, the xylem and phloem are not connected. They're not connected, just uh, located nearby. Okay, as I mentioned at chapter uh, subtopic 3.4, the location of flow, uh, xylem is inside. But the phloem is uh, located beside, okay, uh, beside the xylem or outside, a little outside, and the two separate vessels, two and uh, two separate vessels, okay. Uh, I think that's all for uh, our lesson today. We just learned about the comparison between blood circulatory system in animals and transport system in plants. So, please uh, continue doing the formative practice 3.5 at page 113. Then, after settle this practice, please turn in in Google Classroom. 
okay class thank you for your attention today and i hope you enjoy learning of this topic and don't forget to do the summative practice 3 start from page 116 until 120 so all the best for you guys and see you bye